Baby, you have to speak a little bit uh, higher because the microphone, we still don't oh, have, no, we don't have technology up to date yet, but eventually we will. So right now we don't have the microphones that everybody has, like for recording. So we will get there, but it's our first one. So be patient with us. So my point was that um, the name of the podcast that we thought it's uh, passion fruit, correct? Correct. Okay. So I'm Max and and I'm Anastasia. And this is Coco that it's sleeping. <laughs> if you guys can see it. Uh so basically our idea for this podcast is to talk about a little bit of film like you can see <laughs> and um talk about things that are going on, you know, like for example, not necessarily related to film but things like the Oscars, which it is, but, you know, other events that could uh, potentially influence us or we have something to say, like um, you, baby, like to, you know, focus on traveling. So if we went somewhere or if we're going to or if I just want to go somewhere and it's in plans, we can maybe related to what we talk about in the podcast and then recommend something. And um, you said that you wanted to somehow try to see if it could fit into the the same kind of film topic that we chose, correct? Yeah, most likely it should be at least somehow relatable to like the place or at least, I don't know, the vibe overall, maybe. Okay. Let's say the movie is like in Thailand, but we never been to Thailand, but we can recommend some place in the United States, maybe. Yeah, like uh, maybe an update of us. We just uh, returned from Hawaii and uh, maybe a good kind of, I'm just giving an example of this would be Jurassic Park, let's say, because yeah. Jurassic Park was filmed in uh, most of it in Hawaii. So we just went to Hawaii. Where were we, baby? Um, which only one little part of it was shot in Jurassic Park too. But uh, Kauai, it's our next goal. I don't know if you're aware, but it is. Uh, and if we go, then we will be able to kind of recommend more stuff. But definitely, so far, we've seen Mol Molokai, that the island where... Uh, that part of Jurassic Park was shot and we only could see it from helicopter but still a uh, very nice view and definitely the moment was great, right? They played the song too. In the helicopter? They did, right? Did Actually they the did not. They, pay, they played the song from Back to the Future which is kind of weird because... Uh, but it got you emotional, right? It got, it got me emotional somehow. So, um, let's talk about um, the movie that we kind of picked. And one of the reasons that we picked this movie to talk about a little bit, it's because it's a little bit controversial. It has, it, it will um, not be nominated for the Oscars as the best movie, The Whale, um, but the it is nominated for best actor uh, for Brendan Fraser so i guess um it counts for that so my um kind of like two cents on on this um is basically that i felt i watched um the movie uh about uh, which uh Steven Spielberg directed Fables Man and I felt that that movie it is nominated for an Oscar, but um, I really do don't think that that movie is better than um, The Whale. And there's a lot of uh, reasons why. One of the reasons I think that it's basically just 
stripping everything that the movies have, both of them, one of them, it's it, it, it really gets you into the, um, the, the point where you feel for the character. It really immerses you in the story. And the other one, you, in The Fables, man, you feel like that you already seen that story so many times about the, the guy that, um, you know, has to climb the ladder or on any type of job and, 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 and the family is dragging him down or not like supporting him a hundred percent, which in his case, he had some support. Uh, the, the American dream, exactly. So in my opinion, that's the core of it. Like one really gets you to feel for the main character um and 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 it's a, a beautiful beautiful tale like it told that the story is beautiful like it's a it, it, it's very well put, put together in that in that sense of how the storytelling is but um i really feel that it's also kind of like independent obviously but at the same time we have a huge i mean huge a, a really good actor people are what did you think, <clears throat> baby, about the, the the difference between these two that we're kind of putting together? Well, I think that the fa Fables Man is uh, more obviously because it's autobiography. Um, it's like, yeah, like kind of entertainment, kind of uh, old school type of thing. Uh, and definitely easier to digest and definitely um overall lighter movie like it was fun to watch you could like sympathize in some moments uh but it's not very serious movie uh and it doesn't mean it's bad it's just um like you said we kind of seen it before uh it's just another person telling their story um but the song was good. You keep playing the song. Uh, the song from the Fables? Yeah, and I actually heard it on the radio. You're talking about the Beach Boys? That song about if you wanna. I think a, it's the Beach Boys. A woman, like, get a pretty woman. If you wanna have fun, the rest of your life. Na, 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 na. Yeah, it's a good song. And so. The whale is just. Uh, it's just like a little bit I don't know. For some people, it's probably going to be like a whole traumatic experience <laughs> to look at themselves or recognize their, I don't know, family. The topic is kind of hard to, it's a hard pill to swallow. So many for sure. things there, they're like probably relatable in a negative way. Like people, there's too many people, like there are too many people who are, are like experiencing the same thing right now in life that most likely they either don't want to watch it or if they watch it it's just going to be very like harsh yeah um i really do think that uh they they definitely missed on this one the oscars they should have at least put it as a best picture so the best pictures nominated uh um, what is the films are all quiet on the Western Front? We did not watch that one. I thought it's uh, based on a book of uh, Eric Maria Remark. I imagine that's I know the book. It's about war. Avatar: The Way of Water. We started watching that movie, yeah. and I heard like m many different opinions. I really felt that that movie it's exactly for the first at least ten minutes that we watched it. Uh, it's exactly the same storyline that the first one. What the hell? Like, you know, you're just thinking that you're going to see something new. And I heard that it's under the water and like now they have a different aspect, but did not, did not, uh, you know. You can't really change it too much because it's still about the same type of race. Of yeah. These creatures. It's the same type of war. I just didn't buy it. So. I think that it, it it's just not... It wasn't that good. I, and I'll maybe watch it, but definitely not my... What I was expecting, at least. Um, the Banshees of uh, Inishirin, uh I think... Uh, or whatever it's pronounced. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Um, but that movie, I heard very good things. Um, it's a it? picture about... Um, if I'm, let me 
just call it just in case if I'm not I'm correct. Not prepared. No, well, I mean, we did not have to know everything. Um, it's with Colin Farrell. Um, and uh, this actor, which is very, very good, Brendan Gleeson. Uh, the movie is about a, in a remote island of Ireland, uh, in a remote part of the island of Ireland. Uh, Pendrick is devastated with his body, comes, suddenly puts um, an end to their lifelong friendship with help from, from his sister and troubled young islander. Uh, Pendrick sets out to repair the damaged relationship by means necessary by any means necessary however however uh as comes resolve only strength as comes resolve only strength he soon delivers an ultimatum that leads to shocking consequences we can cut that <laughs> just because i can't read you can't um baby okay. don't say that because i can read, i you think know? that for this type of things we have to at least watch the trailer to kind of have an idea what we yeah, but don't say that i cannot read well it took you some time because the first of all it's <laughs> there are a lot of unfamiliar words it's not a familiar words first of all it's very small okay. second like i don't know what i'm Wait, reading about have time to fight right now <laughs> well but like that's this is part of the of the you know show. of the show yeah but what i'm saying is like uh it's it it is a, a very good it, movie. Yeah. We will we will definitely watch it, but review it, and uh, it is what it is. Um, so so the other one that we did watch two of them, Elvis. We didn't finish it. I think I did mean, we finish that one? Most movie? likely that one will get something there because it was just so. Good. For me, it was not that good. Oh, for you, I'm talking about general audience of the United States. So you liked it. I didn't, again, we didn't finish it and I couldn't even watch it because I wasn't wearing my glasses so I couldn't read the subtitles. Uh, but the story, yeah, it's interesting, obviously. It's an autobiography, so it's like you learn something new and how they put it together it was nice. I like the song, um, the song by Doja Cat and like that woman who was on the vocals and she actually died right after that, did you know? No. So they shot the movie and then um, like a couple of months after she died. The main actress? No. Who? What is the main actress? I don't remember Just from Elvis. Just who was on vocals for the song. Are you talking about the, the, the lyrics or the, the woman that did the lyrics for one of the songs? She didn't do the lyrics, she was vocals, you know, like she was just part of the song and she was making some side vocals. Which is weird because the songs are probably almost all Elvis, right? No, that song is actually by Doja Cat. So basically, the song know, is okay. So the song is called uh, "You Ain't uh, Nothing by a, But a Hound Dog," which is an Elvis song, right? Guys, so this but is a cover of that song with Doja Cat, and there is a woman on a back vocals that makes a voice like. And this was like, done just for this movie. Yeah. And. I guess we are out of the battery, baby. Obviously. Um. No. So why did it shut? I don't know, but let's continue. I keep going. I don't know. Maybe my camera has some type of limit. <laughs> If you don't move it for like more than it's not moving. It just has a time period, bro. Um, all right. So that that that. Uh, that one I think we'll get something. We can put in the, in this segment where the camera uh, shut down. Uh, our sponsor. We got a sponsor. <laughs> Gatti Video. We don't have a sponsor, but we all are, right. So we are very open for the sponsors. So <laughs> to Top Gun Maverick, another one. I watched it on the airplane um, when we were going to Hawaii. Um. I loved it. I actually think that that movie is actually really good. I watched both. I watched Top Gun Maverick and obviously Top Gun. And I was not expecting this at all. But I heard a lot of good things. And so I said, okay, let's finally watch it. I never watched Top Gun, the first one. 1980s movie. Um, 
everybody said how dare you to not watch them so definitely i would say that top gun maverick is better in my opinion than top gun i really loved it uh how you didn't even have to know about the first one that's why it was pretty cool too that that i watched first top gun maverick and then i really because i really liked it i said okay i'll watch top gun and uh, Top Gun, it's it's awesome too, but like it doesn't have, I feel, the power that Top Gun Maverick had. Maybe it's a little bit of a... You mean like, like they added like tricks and stuff? No, no, no. The, I'm talking about the the story, like of the, the, the storytelling like part of like how you care about that character too. Like because he comes from like a background part, has a, a lot to do with, you know, the story and how they connected it. They show a little bit of flashback, so it makes sense. But it was great. It was great. Uh, I think that that movie could definitely have uh, a surprise in the Oscars too. Maybe wins, um, what is it, Best Picture. Then Triangle of Sadness and uh, Woman Talking. No fucking clue what that is, but we will take a look. Well, who will be laughing after they win something? Maybe. Woman Talking sounds like it's going to be Best Women Actors. <laughs> you need political correct? Uh, we'll see. I really don't know. Like first time hearing these types of names. Anyway, so we don't really have to talk about Oscars because no, no, it's tomorrow. We even We're recording this on Saturday. Uh, any of this, most of this movies, and also not really big Oscars. So going back to a little bit of what's current. Uh, <laughs> We just finished watching the last episode of Last of Us. It's not last. Tomorrow is last. Well, the the the, the final episode until today. It's uh, eight episodes. Eight, it's the eighth episode. The last one. What did What do you think about that show, baby? I think that it's um, around eight episodes. Eight and a half out of ten, or eight out of ten, just because it keeps you. Um, very like you know intrigued and kind of in in some type of stress a little bit about the characters but also you kind of understand it's a little bit predictable obviously some parts um and some parts are not realistic and i'm not even talking about the zombies itself it's just about like um the girl being like a superhero you know uh but I have a feeling that, again, like we were talking, it's, again, even if it's a fantasy thing, it's still kind of realistic, because who knew that we would have a pandemic coming from some fucking, I don't know, bats or something, back in three years ago, nobody knew that, that half of the population could potentially die and then some part of the population actually died and then all population was shut down so all of that wasn't realistic if we saw this in a movie like maybe i don't know 10 years before we would say what like it would be a fantasy but now it's not a fantasy anymore the same way about fungus it's like a fantasy now because it didn't happen yet but everything is possible obviously not zombies but the fungus virus yeah do you want to tell people uh, about that thing that you found on Google? What, the mushroom? <laughs> yeah. I mean, babe, I'm sure whoever watched it already saw that it's like that. It's honestly... If I you Google The Last of Us... Uh, <laughs> surprise. Surprise. Um, it pops a mushroom. I mean, it, it, it actually it is a mushroom. And then you press the mushroom... And then the mushrooms start spreading as a virus or some weird shit. Like a mycelia. Well, basically, I feel like world world overall right now is a little bit like talking about um, mycelia and cells, like a little bit a lot. <laughs> um, and like recognizing the power that it has, the cell, like underground cell, uh, the connections that it has, like pretty much throughout the ground overall so um maybe that's a goal to make people recognize how powerful these organisms are which are one of the lowest species 
right after bacteria and virus, right? Um, bacteria like is the simplest organism, and then fungus goes like goes second. Mm, even though it's simple, it's very very powerful, and it has its own like brain or some sort of a uh, instinct of connection and like multiplying so i think the goal of this movie was really about that not more like about scaring people more of a understanding that everything in this world is kind of connected yeah um i played a little bit of the video game i was not completely engaged on it um from the start i played another one from the same company uh Paw, paw dog or something like that. Uh, naughty, dog. naughty dog, um, and uh, I don't remember. Let me check the name of that one. Naughty dog games. All of them are made by Naughty Dog. I feel like even the one that we played together. Oh, Uncharted. We did play, but um, there was another one that I played that it was very similar, and I still didn't get. To, I mean, let me see. Is a game similar to last The Last of Us? Uh, Days Gone. Very similar, but you're in a motorcycle. I thought it was good. I just didn't get like super over or, or, or engaged in the game. I actually played probably like several hours on that one. Uh, same topic, zombies, uh, very similar, but you're a dude, uh, there is no little girl. And the other one, um, The Last of Us, the, I think I, I download the, sam the you know, it's not sample, like, it's like, what is, what is it called? Um, like, not a tutorial, but like, trial. a trial. Um, so, I started that one. The story didn't start as good as, as the movie, as, as the show. I think that the show did a better job to, right, trap you, engage you, and then you just, like, are already involved in the, in the story. That's for me, was the main difference. But the, overall, the, the show, I think that it's very good. The music is very good. Obviously, the story is good because of, you know, something like you say, baby, said, baby, the, the pandemic just happened a couple of years ago, three years ago. So um, it, it's really fresh. So you get engaged and actually it's something that um, people that are that study this say that it could actually happen. So very cool, very cool. And I think that the actors, both actors, uh, actress, uh, the little girl is very good. Um, the only girl that I did not like her... Uh, is that uh, she was woman? Literally for one episode, to give her her fame, her shining moment. I'll tell you the name. Oh my God, she's in several other shows, and I just can't stand her. Did not like her, Melanie Linsky. Melanie, if you're watching this, <laughs> you gotta change your. Words. Step up your game. Um, no, seriously, like she, she, she acts like if it's the the, you know the the same the same character in every single show that he did. But I don't want to focus on that one episode two or three. Which one is the three with the the two guys? Uh, I think it's number three. Uh, Nick Offerman uh, and Murray Bar Bartlett. Very very intense uh, episode. <laughs> Um, both great actors. I, I just think that Nick Offerman is absolutely outstanding. Um, uh, but yeah, the show is pretty good. I think that they did a, a great job and, and we're waiting for the last episode and, uh, hopefully, uh, well, it was confirmed also that they are doing the, the season two. So I think that... Well, I didn't play the video game, but I'm pretty sure she's the main character, so yes. Yeah, but and there's The Last of Us, number one. The video game is the one, and then so two. So they based it on the second, on the second game. One. Right. Uh, they will base it on the second game, but like also my guesses are like, let's say she does sacrifice her life to save everybody, you know. Yep. This type of thing. Um, and what about the new movie that we watched? 
<laughs> that you really loved. The new Tom Hanks. Oh my god. The new, Is there's it a new... nominated for something? No, of course not. The, a man named Otto with Tom Hanks. I don't want these uh, podcasts to be uh, talking shit, you know, because supposedly it's good vibes, passion fruit, but passion fruit is part of passion. So here we go with that. Um, I liked it. Anastasia liked it. She liked it. I mean, like, liked it. Obviously, to laugh, you know. Not I, to take I literally think that Tom Hanks... Uh, I mean, did you like? I don't know how he get, he got okay, engaged in this movie, when but was the time that you would say, "Oh my God, Tom Hanks just like acted in such a great movie." Well, I really. Like, Forrest Gump. No, 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 no. That's too old. So you know. That's my question. Like. No, no, but uh, like I'll tell you, I'll tell time. you one that 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 is recent, and uh, this one was that it was for Apple TV. Um, very sim kind of uh, uh, Finch that you saw it with me that he's kind of like in a ah, ap- apocalyptic space. world. No, it's not space. It's apocalyptic world also. He but has he has a robot. He makes a robot or a can. Yeah, something like kind of a Wally. But I mean, um, it's like not horrible. It was much better than this one. The but message, the acting, also. everything, everything. The script. I really think that what happened. And I did a little bit of research on this, the, a man called Otto. I think that um, the script is, is, is just very basic, very basic, and uh, it doesn't make you Listen, believe in this. It has fine moments. I don't know. Obviously, what do you mean don't believe? It's a realistic story. You can live in a community where somebody wants to kick you out. It, do, it doesn't make you believe in the characters. The characters look f- f- like they have, they're, I they're over exaggerated. I liked my character. It's my soul. <laughs> Yeah, Marisol saved the movie, to be Marisol honest. With her Spanish. Uh, I think By the way, I'm from Argentina originally, I like and Anastasia is from Spanish background. Ukraine. Uh, and it's not the topic of the podcast. It's not the topic of the podcast, but um, we, we, we need to show where I we just are. like the involvement. My zipper is down, so I'll put it up. <laughs> I like the diversity. Diversity. Of I like that too. Like they that try, was good. Yeah, they trying too much, putting too much stuff in. The it was too much. Uh, like a it's lot of topics. Uh, but I think that having Spanish people, people of color, people of different social groups in there, and showing the you know power of unity and community and like <clears throat> neighborhood. It's all pretty good. So, people will like it. Anything else that you would like to add uh, about maybe a topic that is related to this or that you want to talk about a little bit more? When we went to Hawaii, Hawaii, we were we were in Maui, right? We were doing these adventures and trying to figure it out where the 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 locations where the the waterfalls were or the nice beaches and then um I parked on a on a driveway. Not it was it was not a driveway. It was a a, a street, but it had a, dr- a kind of a side, uh, you know, driveway or not even a driveway, but a house, a fence. a fence. And this Karen all of a sudden comes out of nowhere with a saw, an electric saw. And uh, it wasn't electric. Actually, it looked like it was gas saw, like gasoline. So. She came with the saw, and then she said, you can't fucking park here. So, start calling, start calling the cops, supposedly. I don't know if it's true. And she wasn't. So, so, and then the last thing she said to me, and I said, okay, I apologize, and we will move on. But the last thing she said to me was, it's better for me to say that my husband or my, uh, Dad? my, no, my, he, she said, uncle. Which is kind of weird. Very strange that she would say, uh, my, my husband and my uncle. Yeah. They all live in strange family. <laughs> so if you're seeing Karen, thank you very much. Uh, but it was <laughs> fucked up. And, I and second... I for people who are traveling, uh, obviously to respect... Do you remember the spot specifically? It was supposed to be Venus Pool uh, on the road to Hana, which is like kind of halfway uh, through the road of Hana. Um, but basically, it's a very popular spot, and what she said to us is that it's a private property. 
But yeah. beach cannot be a, pri a private property. Maybe the road to get there is a private property, but beach is not a private property. But she was so opposed to us parking against the fence, which I understand one side of the fence had a sign that said no parking anytime. The other part of the fence didn't say nothing, and most likely it wasn't her property. No, it wasn't. Because it just said no parking, sides. but that's it. It was two different sides of the road. And it didn't say yeah. nothing, and it didn't seem like it was anybody's property. I didn't see nobody there, uh, but she had it in her in her duty that day that she had to control the situation. So if you're planning to go to Maui and take road to Hana, uh, if you want to see Venus Pool, you just have to go there probably probably around six or seven a.m. Um, yeah. Well, that uh, concludes our. Uh, advice for traveling and um, the last thing it's a meme I wanted to suggest a meme maybe this is part of we'll see we, we still this is the first episode we'll see how we put it together but a, a good uh, suggestion of a meme I think that uh, video wise right I think video ones are pretty cool and a little bit more funny Junior mm. I said come get this corn I can't get it Too far up there. Oh, my bad, daddy. Daddy, my fault. You motherfucker. Daddy, I tripped. My fault, daddy. You a goddamn lie. Ain't no fucking way. You hide the fucking. You don't see me standing right there? I tripped. I, I should go across your motherfucking face. You daddy, didn't you see, see me? You see me trying to right here? Daddy, 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 look at this shit out in my motherfucking beard. Goddamn it. You was one goofy motherfucker. You a goofy motherfucker. Look at this shit. Talk about you ain't fucking see me. All the way up to the goddamn corner. Now I'm gonna spit this fucking hot pain out of my motherfucking face. Do you, you get and So far, we don't have a story to relate. Like, obviously, we did a renovation here, but you didn't really help with painting, so we didn't have a situation like that. Um, well, that's not true because the first thing that was painted in this house was our closet. And I, I, I helped it. Sweet up. <sighs> okay. I think it's time <laughs> to wrap it up. Coco farted? Yeah, you don't know. Uh, no. It's time to wrap it up. It's almost nine o'clock. It's time to have dinner. All right, so that would uh, conclude with our uh, first episode. Cheers, everybody. Cheers to all the goofy motherfuckers out there. Have fun. Success. Success, success. You, <laughs> this one didn't say nothing, but you might have been cut, baby. Very good. So my camera recorded 34 minutes. Mine. Or around 30, 30 something. 32. Mine did not record shit. Let's see. Which is kind of weird. I think. Very try. good. Very fucking good. Why did. Huh? So it also recorded in separate pieces? I guess. So let's see. Where's the voice? Where's the sound? Doesn't have sound? I think that it's not doing the sound in here because it's plugged here. So why didn't you... <laughs> no, but no, not the sound. Like, you can't hear it, but it was recorded here because it's on. So how many minutes in general you recorded? Can you so show if, if you... Definitely didn't record till then. No, obviously. So, so obviously, very good. You eight, have eight, 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 eight plus eight, it's 16 plus eight, it's 24. So you only recorded 24 20, minutes yeah. of me. And like, what the fuck, baby? I recorded the whole thing. How goofy you can fucking be like. I didn't check how much. Why? Time like how? Like you kept telling me what to do and how to do it. And you didn't check your own camera. How? 
And your camera doesn't even fucking tell you that it stops recording? It did, but it didn't, it didn't know. Mm -hmm. good. Cool episode. Well, anyway. Anyway. To stop it, it's the red bottom on the top, not the other, no, right there.